Up until fairly recently, I've been using Flameshot for my screenshots, but being a GUI program, it has a few limitations that I really don't like, and I recently discovered MAME, which addresses a lot of those concerns, or I found ways that I can address them myself. So let's have a look. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. So any good screenshot utility should have these three functions. It should be able to take a full screen screenshot obviously, otherwise it would be a pretty useless screenshot tool. It should be able to take a selection, so you should be able to select a portion of the screen. And the third thing which some people don't use but I really need is a timer. So Flameshot, it doesn't have a full screen mode, but the selection tool obviously will let you take a screenshot of the whole screen, so I can accept that. But the timer is missing from it, and usually I don't need it, but when I need a timer, I really need it, so I'd like it to be there on those occasions. So because MAME is such a popular program, it should be available in most distro standard repos. So if you're on Ubuntu, Debian, anything like that, you can get it with the package managers on those repos. So if you're on Arch, for example, you can go sudo, sudo pacman-s, and then MAME, and as you can see, it is a very small program, so you don't have to worry about it taking up much storage space. So, if we have a look at the man page for MAME, the basic usage for it is fairly simple. So, if you don't want to provide any options to it, we can just run MAME and give it a location. So, and let's call, I guess, test file. And there we go, we've taken a screenshot of our screen. So, if we go down to test file, and we open that up, then that'll have taken a screenshot of my entire desktop. I haven't worked out a way to take a picture of one screen. There are a couple of ways to do it, but they don't seem to work with XRender. It seems to treat the entire dual monitor setup as a single screen. So if you do want to take a screenshot of a single screen and you're on a dual monitor setup using XRender, you're probably going to have to do it with a selection. So we actually do have options for this. So if we run uh, man mame again, so the important options in here, so there is one cool thing I'll show you afterwards, which is this dash I option. But the one I'm going to show you first is select. So if we go MAME dash S, so that'll let us make a selection instead of just taking a screenshot of the entire screen. And if we give that a output path, so we'll call it the same, should we call it something different? Test file 2. I guess. And as you can see, that has now changed my cursor. So now I can just take a selection of an area and that has taken a screenshot now. So if we bring up my file browser again, we go to test file two, if I can spell. And now we have, that's the wrong file. There we go. And that is a, just a selection screenshot. So that is pretty much the main usage that you're going to be wanting using it for. There's a couple other cool things that you can do with it. So if we go back to that man page, so the window option in here is actually really cool. So I tested this out a little earlier. If I have it in this terminal here, yes, okay, wait. I don't feel like writing out the entire command because it's a annoyingly long command. So if we do dash I, and if we bring up more windows just to show it off. So if we go main dash I, then we evaluate a command in there and the command we're using is XDO tool and then we can get the active window. So what this will do is it will screenshot whichever window is the currently active window and only that. So in this case, the active window is this main terminal I've got here. So if we screenshot that and we close these other ones off because it's taking up too much screen room and we go to active. Okay, so we call it active window and as we can see in here, it is just screenshotted that active window that we had open then. So I mentioned the fact that I like having a screenshot utility with a timer. I'm not actually using the built-in timing function in MAME. I'm doing it with a separate uh, method when I'll show you guys the script that I'm using for my screenshots. But if we check out the man page for that, I can't remember what it's called. I think, is it timer or something? Time, where'd it go? I know I've seen it before. Ah, here we go, delay. So if you do dash D or dash dash delay and then give it a time, it'll wait before it has taken a screenshot. So if we try that in here, so if we go dash dash delay equals, let's say one, and I forgot to give it a output path. So if you don't give MAME an output path, it'll just print out the entire man page, which I, I guess is actually fairly useful in case 
you kind of forget it. So if we go test time, I guess we'll call it. And there we go, now has delayed and then taken a screenshot. So you can put an arbitrarily long amount of time. There's probably a limit and that's probably a integer limit or something like that, but I'm not sure. I haven't actually bothered to put in a number that ridiculously high. So there's a few other interesting things in here that I don't particularly make use of myself, but you might like to use them. So if you've got multiple X servers, you actually can screenshot each different one. Most systems are not going to have that, but if for some reason you do, then I guess that's something that's available. You can also set the geometry. So this is basically doing the same thing as a select. So if for some reason you want to write out each of the points for where you want to capture, then you can do that. You can also uh, run dash U and hide the cursor. And I don't know why you would ever do this, but you can change the level of quality of the screenshot. So if you want a terrible looking screenshot, then you're free to do that. Then there's a couple of other options in here that I'm not gonna go through because I don't really think that they're too useful. But if you guys wanna check them out, then I guess go ahead and check them out. So as you guys probably know from now, I don't pretty much ever run scripts by hand. If I can hotkey it, I'm probably gonna hotkey it. So I actually do have hotkeys set up for all of my uh, screenshot utilities that I use, or all of the different functions of MAME that I use. So if we bring up my script for it, it is just called screenshot. This is just a simple handler script that will basically go through the different functions that I actually use. So I've got a predefined output path up here. I put all of my uh, screenshot into a screenshot folder and I then have the, um, the epoch time, the current month and day and the time of the day just so I have the epoch time at the start so they are all ordered and then I like having I like knowing what day and what time a screenshot was taken on as well so in here we've got four different functions that I use so I've got full select full time and select time so full will take a screenshot of my entire screen select will take a selection then full time will take a full screenshot with a timer which I'm defining how long the time goes for with this menu function up here, which I'll go through in a second. And then select time does the same thing, but it uses select instead of full screen. So with these commands, they're all fairly simple. So I run MAME with the output path and if it fails then it just exits, then select. I run MAME select with the output path and then if it fails, it exits and yeah, the full time and select time are pretty much the same, but before they run, they run the menu function. So what the menu function does is it will use my favorite program, dmenu. So as you guys have seen before, if you echo an empty string into dmenu, it'll open up dmenu and it'll have nothing as the selections you can use. But with dmenu, it will output whatever selection you make, even if that selection is not in the list of options that you can actually use. So I can use this to output a number for how long that I want to actually wait for. And then I will pipe that into xargs with the dash i option. Dash i is the most common xargs argument. It basically will let you substitute whatever value is piped into the command. And then we'll just put that wherever this symbol is here. So basically what we're doing is we're just sleeping for whatever I write into D menu. So if I write 10 seconds into D menu, it will wait, or if I write 10 into D menu, not 10 seconds, if I write 10, it will wait for 10 seconds. So you might be saying, why aren't you just using the main command to do this? And the reason I'm not doing this is because then I would have to repeat this function every single time and it'll be a little bit messier. I could do it, but I'm lazy. It works like this, it's a couple less characters to write and it functions fine. And then after the screenshot is taken, I will send a notification to my screen that will say MAME has taken a screenshot. So I will show you guys how I'm actually running these functions. So what, that was weird, why was that there? I don't know. Huh. Anyway, so we'll go back to LF and it's in my i3 config. So if we go to my screenshot section, so you may not like my screenshot bindings, but I like them. So mod print is uh, super print. So super print screen. Then for select, it's super shift print screen. 
uh, full sl um, full time, I guess, is um, super control print, and then because just to keep in the same theme with it, the select time is super control shift print. I know that's a bit of a handful to do, but I can hit it just fine, so I guess it works. If you guys happen to use my configs at some point and you don't like that I've got a four key combo uh, hotkey, then feel free to change it because it's just like that because it's fairly simple for me to hit. Yeah, that's pretty much everything for my screenshot config. So I don't know how I managed to spend about 10 minutes talking about how to take a screenshot, but I guess it's happened. And if you guys are at this point, then I thank you a lot for watching a 10 minute video on how to take screenshots. That is a lot of watch time for me and I really do appreciate it. So if you like this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of this video. If you got any ideas for what you want to see in future tutorials or you want to let me know that you've got a better way to do this, let me know in the comment section and I will probably address it. And I, if I do like it enough, I'll probably add it to my configs and then that'll improve my system, I guess. So if you want to see more from the channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below. And you'll probably get updates, but we can never trust YouTube to actually push updates to anyone. So also go follow my Twitter and my Mastodon and you'll probably get updates there unless they decide they don't feel like pushing updates anymore. And if that happens, I guess, I don't know, we're going to switch to carrier pigeons or something to send out updates. So I think that's pretty much everything for me and I'm out. <laughs>